Hey everybody, Ann here, and today it is raining all, all day long, and I don't have any plans. I'm kind of stuck in the van. I could go over to CG's house and hang out, and I've got a new neighbor. Her name is Ann, too. She's invited me to come over to her place and hang out, too, let her dogs out. I might do that. I don't know, but I kind of like just hanging out in the van, so what I'm doing today is, well, um, I am, I've got this pressure cooker, and I've been wanting to use it, so I'm going to make some... Hot Fudge Sunday or brownie pudding. That it's brownie pudding basically, and I'm gonna steam it. So, um, oh god, it's just getting so muddy out there too. Uh, I'm gonna steam it, and I'm not gonna do a whole video on it unless you guys really want me to do, you know, the whole recipe thing. I'm just gonna kind of show you what I did and talk through it. Oh, and I wanted to show you this plaque that Andy made. He didn't make it for me specifically, but he brought a bunch over, and he says you can have one of them. And I chose this one. So here, take a look at this. It's so awesome. Check this out. Attention thieves, please carry ID so we can notify your next of kin. There's a good reason for this, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. Okay, the story goes that I have some neighbors uh, that live, well, they own land. I don't know if they really live because there's this dilapidated uh, mobile home that's kind of like crumbling and falling over, and then there's somebody who set up a tent out there. They're living in a tent. They live right behind me on this lot, and then um, from the same group of people, two lots down, they own, you know, another parcel of land that has a bunch of, like, old cars and a school bus and everything's kind of like falling down the hill. It's like, it looks like a big junkyard trash heap, that sort of thing. Unfortunately, no matter if you're a landowner, but in particular if you're a landowner, because it's like you own the land and you want to make sure it stays nice and everything, and then you've got these, these derelict neighbors. Well, anyhow, these people have been described to me as crack addicts. Um, crack addicts, meth heads, whatever. And that they're thieves. They like to steal a lot to fund their um, their habits. So, I mean, I've just kind of briefly glanced. I mean, I've seen them kind of briefly. They kind of stay out of sight, um, which is fine with me. But, um, so, you know, I hate to judge them too harshly unless I've had a, a negative interaction with them myself. But I am heeding the warnings because these people have been on this street a lot longer than I have and they know what's going on. Um, and I certainly don't want anything stolen. I don't want anybody messing with my land. I don't want anybody on my land unless I know them. So um, that's what the plaque significance is to me. I saw that right away, and I just found out about the neighbors, and they just got back into town, too. Um, and as it turns out, that lot where I got the puffball mushrooms that I thought was abandoned, it's not abandoned. Um, I found some people, well, I found the tent that they're they're living in, so I won't be going back to that property. I mean, if I don't want people on my property, then... Um, you know, then I can't go on theirs, even if it looks like a dilapidated, terrible trash heap. Anyhow, so that's what the plaque is about. And today, it's just raining. There's nothing for me to do. Um, I can't, I don't know that I can really get this vehicle out of where I am right now, just because of the mud and whatnot. I should have tried to get it out sooner and parked at the top of the hill. But the problem with this van is there's no emergency brake. So it would be hard for me to talk, uh, park at the top of the hill um, just because it's on a slant, and um, I mean, I wouldn't feel bad if it was a little slant, but this is a pretty big slant, and there's really no way I can block it right now. Um, so, it's a big van, and I don't think people realize that if I were to try to to do that, there's the potential that it could either go backwards or forward, just depending how I'm parked. Um, so, I'm just kind of hanging out here. In the van, um, I'll hopefully be able to start DoorDash tomorrow because Lord knows I need the money. Uh, the cash flow is basically non-existent right now. I'm down to basically zero. <laughs> but I did sign up for Postmates, so they're going to be sending me their package pretty soon. The only bad thing about DoorDash is that there's not a lot of business in Jackson, which is the city that is closest to me. Um, I'll have to drive like an hour to an hour and a half away to be able to dash enough to make any kind of money. So... Um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's kind of a, you know, kind of a weird thing, but I'll work around it. I don't mind driving a little bit further so long as I can have a full day scheduled. And it looks like there's one place in um, Tennessee, West Tennessee, that they need somebody basically for a full 12-hour shift. So what I could do, I could just drive there. It's about an hour and 20 minutes away. Just drive there and park um, you know, just dash for as long as I can, and then um, since I don't, I cannot drive at nighttime. It it terrifies me. The headlights coming on terrifies me. 
um, I just don't like it. So there's a Walmart there. I can just park overnight, stay overnight at the Walmart, and uh, work there again the next day. And if I did that, I could work enough to kind of satisfy my needs for the whole week, just maybe two or three days. So that's kind of a bonus. And we'll see how Postmates um, kind of comes up. But, um, yeah, so... The cash flow will start very soon. It will. Um, God willing, I got. I'm surrounded by really good people, and I know there's people out there praying for me, hoping that everything works out. And so far, everything has miraculously been working out. You know, I've hit some roadblocks, but Dawn's been a real inspiration for me. She's she's not one of those self righteous religious people that are that's going to talk down to you. You know. Um, she, she knows the Bible and she knows the meanings of things, um, the way they're supposed to be interpreted, you know, and so she's kind of been an inspiration to me as far as prayer and as far as me being one of God's children, um, and I guess I am, who knew, <laughs> and that I'm beautiful and that, um, I can't remember the whole saying, but it was a really, really beautiful saying, and I almost kind of want to start tearing up when I think about it because, those words that she chose for me came at a very, very pivotal, important time. And it's something that I needed to hear. And, um, you know, Dawn doesn't always tell me what I want to hear. But she tells me what I need to know. And so that's why I love her. I love you, girlfriend. Just love you so much. Um, anyhow, I could go on and on and on. So I'm going to show you the footage of me kind of making this uh, brownie pudding stuff. I'm not going to do the whole video start to finish and whatnot. If you want the recipe for it or if you want me to do a full video on how I made this, um, just let me know and, and I'll do it. Um, I'll try and just kind of, I'm not going to put it in my cooking section or anything like that. Um, oh, in case you didn't know, I have playlists on my channel. I've got a playlist, well, for my van life videos. Even though I'm still living van life, this is more kind of towards my homesteading s stuff. So the playlist at the top of my um, homepage is now um, homesteading in a van, <laughs> which is, I think, pretty cool. I've got van life. I've got cooking playlist. I've got a um, DIY playlist. I've got an Anne's Favorite Things playlist where I just go find videos out on the internet, you know, from people I subscribe to or don't subscribe to. And um, so you'll find a lot of cool stuff there. I've got a gaming playlist. So yeah, check them all out. Um, you know, sometimes people don't like gaming. So I just separated them into their own little section. Um, but anyhow, okay, okay, okay. Let me show you the footage of this, uh, this brownie pudding stuff I made because you know what? It was, it was pretty good. Pretty good. All right, here we go. All right, I'm making brownie pudding, and I'm making it in a pressure cooker. So what I've got in here is the brownie pudding is inside a, either a 6-inch or an 8-inch pie pan, and it's on top of another inverted pie pan. And it's got about an inch of water in it, and it's covered with foil with holes in it so that the moisture won't get down into the brownie pudding. And then here it is. I put the little weight on top to go to the 15-pound pressure and I cook it for 25 minutes at 15 pounds and that little jiggler thing up there is jiggling away and it's just it's doing just exactly what it's supposed to do so that made me happy and after 25 minutes it is done check that out it bounces back when you touch it with your finger just a little tiny bit stuck to the foil at the top there but not a big deal um, you just got to kind of dome it up a little bit better than what I did but that's okay and check out this beautiful luscious hot fudge sauce I will tell you this hot fudge sauce turned out perfect it was delicious and the consistency was absolutely perfect 100% dead on um, and you know what? The cake part tasted pretty good too, but what I'll do next time differently is I didn't have any real sugar. I used Splenda and sometimes it's so, you know, you can't tell the difference, but in this case, I would definitely use real sugar. It gets a thumbs up anyhow. And look at the sponge there on that cake. It turned out absolutely perfect. And, um, I'm just repeating myself because I, I'm, I'm, I, I want to keep talking about this wonderful cake, uh, brownie pudding rather. Um, yeah, definitely use real sugar on this and, uh, it'll turn out just, just fine. So basically all it is, is some flour, some cocoa, 
um, some milk, some butter or some ghee like I use, some sugar. I put a little bit of cinnamon in the cake part. You mix that, you put it in the bottom, then you sprinkle a mixture of cocoa and brown sugar over the top, then you pour hot water over that, then you put the little dome tent on top of it with the, with the, um, the foil, and you put it in your pressure cooker, cook it for... 25 minutes at uh, 15 pounds and it will turn out absolutely perfect yes indeed thumbs up alrighty so that is all that I got for you guys today see you in the next video thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one